special day. Oh. A special, special day where we're going to give you a sneak preview uh, to the exciting stuff that we have actually been doing uh, on 5-7. So tighten your belt and hold your horses. And uh, we're going to do a how would you do that intro and everyone's going to move around in here. It's going to get really awkward for a couple of minutes and then uh, we're going to have Andy drive and uh, he'll, show, he'll show some stuff off and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sit back down and, and, uh, and take questions and, and maybe give you answers. Right? Actually, how would we do it? Let's do it. How would we do that? There's Andy. He's about to, to sign into test. Uh, oh, you see. Like you can already see, there's some fancy new Bootstrap 3.0-ish buttons happening. Yes. Right? So right nice. off the bat, this is a uh, this is a very much an alpha build of uh, not even. Alpha. This is a yeah. This what, is what this, this is a this is a this is off of Andy's notebook. Yeah. This, this a notebook is, build. Yeah. A notebook build exactly. Uh, this is using a pre-release version of Bootstrap 3 like a, a release candidate, but I think they literally just took something from Git one day and decided to make a release candidate. So there are all sorts of uh, styles in here that are not final, um, but then there are some that are. So as I log in today, you can see immediately we have a nice new shiny design for our, uh, for our top bar. So clean, so elegant. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And we got our drafts right here in the uh, in the menu. So we're really trying to bring yeah, we're that. trying to bring the composer experience out of kind of the uh, the dashboard ghetto it, it was launched in. And you know, as, if you know us, you know that all of our ideas kind of start and get iterated over a number of times. So one of the challenges that we're addressing with five seven is. Uh, it, it, it doesn't always make sense to tell someone, hey, if you want to make a new page, you have to go to that spot in the tree and add a sub page. You can see people's eyes glazing over when you do that. So, um, you know, why can't I just start writing? I just want to start writing and then maybe I can, I can worry about where it goes later. So now you'd be able to make a new page or get at your drafts right from that editing drop down. Exactly. Sorry to interrupt. No, that please I'll, please I'll do as I do this since I'm that's not that's sure exactly what is compelling versus what's what boring. So, but we're not going to do that today because most of that stuff isn't done yet. But if I click edit page, you can see the beginnings of what we call our new editing experience. Uh, right off the bat, there are no more uh, there are no more sort of persistent markers for areas in the page. Overwhelming um, dotted lines. Exactly. Lots of thing of the past. Lots of lots of names that at first glance don't mean any sense. Mm -hmm. Make any sense. Uh, right now, uh, the only thing that you can see are the uh, four areas that are in the page, and the only reason you're seeing these as uh, you know without uh, interacting with them directly is because they're empty. We uh, had an initial build where empty areas just didn't show anything, and that was you know a little confusing as you might imagine. So empty areas still have a little subtle marker showing that they actually exist. Yeah. And if I click here, you'll notice we have uh, some more sub subdued styling throughout. Um, Less needless icons, nice bolder text, or yeah. easy to readable text when you need it. And uh, and in general, the the entire experience should also be um, better for uh, you know uh, editing experiences at higher DPI's. So on mm -hmm. uh, mobile devices, on high resolution uh, laptops, that kind of thing. Um, some of our widgets would get a little bit uh, grainy, mm -hmm. and uh, that should no longer be the case. And if I click Add Block here, you'll see we have a new Add Block experience. Pretty. And, uh, Categories. Searchable. Just uh, nicer. We're trying to be consistent in the use of friendly green in terms of... Uh, in terms of uh, Edit. Edit. Edit is green. And uh, you can see right here as I add a content block, you've seen this if you've watched Totally Random before, but this is a new instance of uh, the uh, in-context uh, content editor powered by Redactor that we have in here. Pretty cool. And if you save it, you'll notice that uh, same stuff before, but now the area is actually not outlined at all. Um, so if I were to, uh, and you'll notice this this behaves in a, in a this is a bit less overwhelming in terms of buttons and uh, and options in general. So as I as I publish my edits, you can see this is exactly how the page looks, um, you know, in preview mode. And if I signed out, it would look the same. 
uh, and if I edit this page, you'll notice no more do the blocks on the page, you know, jump around with a lot of borders and things. Um, we're really trying to make the editing experience as, as close to the preview experience as possible. And so when I mouse over test heading, you can see that it does in fact highlight green, that means it's a block, and the area tab shows up at the bottom. So I can add more to this, to this area at the bottom, and I can also click test heading to edit it in the page. Sexy, sexy. And uh, you'll also notice that there is a little, uh, there's a little swatch up here with the little move command. Uh, more commands might make it in there for different block types as well, but uh, you'll notice if I click on here, there's no more move uh, command in the menu. Instead, I can just click something and move it, Put it where you want right it. in the page. And uh, we don't get any notification up here because it's not really necessary, it just, it just does it. So if I were to you know, preview my edits, it's already over Sweet. there. This rule. And uh, I can add more stuff. And then I can also, we have also introduced a, uh, hopefully, we're trying to make some of the functionality that you can do with Concrete 5 a bit more easier to discover. So, uh, there are times when you might want to add something to a page, but you might not be thinking in terms of, I want to add this to the bottom of a certain area. So you might just say, what can I add? I want to add a, I want to add a, um, I just want to add an image. On this page needs an image. Yeah. yeah. So I can click on this plus at the top of the page and I get the same image, uh, I get the same thing here. Um, and I can still do this. And then I can just drag my image right into the page and it will do it there. Mm -hmm. I don't actually have any images. Build. And you can actually do that before you even put the page in edit mode. You can click the plus, it's going to dump that man off you can in this build, but yeah, the big yeah. picture. Uh, you can you know, go to a page, yeah. you're like, oh, this thing That's needs right. a, an, an image gallery. You click a plus, boom, you're already in edit mode, drag a block where you want it, hit save, you're done. That's right. We have not implemented that, but that, is, that is coming. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can choose where these blocks go, so no longer are you confined to adding them to the bottom of an area and then moving them. If you want right. to add content above this auto nav, you just add content do above the auto nav. Pretty nice. Yeah. And uh, as we get in a little further, we can, uh, I won't spend too much time on this because uh, with Bootstrap 3, it kind of came in and broke a lot of this stuff, <laughs> but uh, they'll be fixed. Uh, we have also overhauled the layouts functionality in this. Um, so you'll see here, if I come into here and add layouts, no longer are they sort of outside the flow of the page. I can, you know, just add these layouts right in the page, right here. See how they're going to affect my content immediately. I can save them as presets, or I can just add them right there, and the layouts work just that way. Nice. And they also are honoring a, a grid type that we pass through in the big picture. Your theme yeah. optionally can have a, uh, a a grid definition, whether it's you know bootstrap grid or 960 or whatever, and uh, then when you add layouts, you kind of get hard stops at those those grid spots. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like so uh, since this is a bootstrap theme, it uh, it knows the, my uh, my grid framework tells it of what classes to use and how many columns it can use. And so these are actually the columns as defined by the bootstrap grid. And so if I made it four columns, this would be span, you know, span uh, threes throughout the entire thing. If I add layouts, it will automatically work. And since bootstrap three is responsive, you know, your, your columns also resize as necessary. And we also made it so that if you add layouts from a grid framework into a sub area, it will lock, to, it will know how many columns it can support. Of course, Bootstrap 3 has changed the way that works, so this won't work quite as well as it might have before, but we are, uh, the themes themselves will be able to document how they support grids and the Concrete 5 layout functionality will work seamlessly with that functionality. Very cool. That's good. Yeah, that's business. enough. That's enough. There's yeah. other stuff that's maturing along, but you got to save something for another yeah, week. If you guys so. get antsy, you'll see something more. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Boom. 5 7. Coming at you. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Yep.
Yeah, we're, I, I can imagine, as we're switching seats here, I can imagine a question. Oh, when do we get it? Um, we're working on it. Uh, I, I think we are still uh, at, at a month or two, couple months away yeah. from actually having yeah. an alpha that uh, that we're going to stick up there. But, uh, but it will be worth the wait. It's well worth the wait. And plan is to get to, to a spot where uh, the editing UI is stable, the aggregator is built, the image editor is built, all the, all the basic stuff is there. Uh, call that alpha and then have another two to three month window, probably three month window, where that just sits as alpha and, uh, and the community can really beat it up. Because yeah. um, obviously if you're a theme developer, there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff to get excited about. Yeah. And, um, we're going to use it to uh, redesign concrete5.org as well. Yep. So we're going to get it stable and uh, offer it to, to the world as alpha and, uh, and then use it ourselves to rebuild concrete5.org. And then when all that comes together, um, late summer will be a magical everyone should upgrade. Yeah.